it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm in the office just in a different background. Um, I'm actually on the floor. Um, Jade is upstairs sleeping so I figured let me come downstairs and be quiet so I didn't wake her up. Um, but today I do want to talk about her sleeping um, both day and night and how Jerome and I actually got her to get on a schedule and Essentially, it's sleep training. Um, I didn't know it at the time, but yeah. So we did that around two weeks, um, maybe even before, and it's been working for us and just wanted to share a few helpful tips that we found would, you know, worked for us. So definitely, if you're interested in this, keep on watching and definitely like this video. So I know you guys like things like this. Um, and on our channel, so we'll do vlogs, day in the life, um, makeup tutorials, uh, trying new products, all kinds of stuff. So, so definitely, if you like that kind of content, please stick around and subscribe. Um, but let's get into it. Okay, so when I was coming up with this list, I wanted to have like five things because I thought five is just such a nice like round number. It's a handful, but I can only come up with four. And um, I think out of these four, they're quality things. And I really think that it worked for us and any future kids that we have will definitely stick with these four things. So the first thing was structure. Jerome and I, if you asked me before Jane, I would say, oh, we're so go with the flow. Um, but now <laughs> I can tell you with 100% honesty, we are creatures of habit. Um, we're not very go with the flow. We wanna know what to expect. And so before Jade was even born, we decided we were like, okay, we're bringing this new person into our world. We want everything to go smooth. So we decided we're like, okay, if, um, not if, naps are gonna happen, right? So we wanted to have an area for day naps and then an area for nighttime. So we set up two areas. Um, we put the pack and play in the living room, uh, which is a common area in our house. It's close to the kitchen, it's uh, close to the door, close to you know where you're eating. And so we decided, okay, let's have her in the daytime, maybe between the hours of like 7 a.m. and 6 p.m anytime she's sleeping we didn't know what they would be but we said anytime she's sleeping between those times she'll just be out in the living room and at nighttime anytime between like 6 p.m and 7 a.m we had her in our room um so the nighttime would actually happen in our room in her bassinet and that worked out really good um why because we had a lot of family in and out and it was really nice to actually have her station outside in the living room. So that way, if I did wanna take a nap or if I were getting out of the shower or whatever and in our room, but our family was helping as well, they were able to assist from the living room and Jade had everything she needed out there too. So that worked out really good for us. Um, even though we had her nursery set up, we didn't have her sleep in her crib just yet. That came a few months later. Um, but yeah, so it was really nice to have the living room set up. For the daytime, um, we know like naps come, in my mind, they're at a convenience. You get the, the sleep you need and then you kind of move on with your day. So for us, we were like, we didn't mind that it was bright. We didn't mind that there could potentially be music or the TV on or anything like that because we knew that Jade was a baby and she would sleep and um, we definitely didn't want to be the family that had everyone kind of like on their tiptoes walking around Jade or like not trying to do anything. So for us, we just wanted her to get accustomed to the noise, uh, which she did. Um, she actually did that really quickly and we didn't even you know, feel her um, kind of struggling with that at all. So that was for the daytime. For nighttime, um, she was in our room. It was dark, like I mentioned, and we had um, a nightlight. So with the nightlight, um, it was very dim and it actually worked out well because we got it, we actually got two. We have one in her room and one in our room now. Um, I'll definitely link the nightlight that we have below, but um, it worked out well because when changing came, we can take that same nightlight and turn 
the light up or turn it dimmer. So it worked out well. Um, anyway, so enough about the nightlight. Um, so for night, not only was the timing important, but the structure for what we did before bed was important or is important because we still do them now. Um, we definitely make sure and give her a bath before her her before we put her down for sleep. Um, so her bath happens now right before bed and that just gets her in the mindset that it's time to relax. Um, she loves taking baths and thankfully she's always liked taking baths. So it's ni a nice transition for her to go from like a busy day to, to bed. So um, that's definitely something we've continued and will continue. Um, but, and also we would give her a bottle. So the bottle at night versus her day ones are a little bit, <laughs> It's like a bottle on steroids without any drugs. We would put um, maybe an extra ounce or we would put a little bit of rice cereal as she was older. Um, and so now we're just giving her a little bit more. So we're just making it a heavier bottle. We wanted to make sure that when we put her down, she would get like a really good stretch of sleep. So that's why we wanted to kind of beef that first bottle up a little bit for her. Um, so that was pretty much, I say in a nutshell, but that was really quickly what we did for the, the mornings and for the nights. Uh, the second thing that we do is actually a, use a swaddle. Um, a swaddle worked out so good for Jade because she was a little peanut when she was born. She was just under six pounds and um, you know, her little reflexes were, were wild. So um, if she was not swaddled, there's no way she would be sleeping because she would always just like jolt or, you know, wake up or have very short stretches of sleep. So the swaddle worked great. Um, I think even before we left the hospital, um, we were perfecting that swaddle. My brother and sister-in-law did it on their kids. So um, once they showed us, we were like, done. <laughs> and Jade got really good sleep. So um, day or night, we used the swaddle up till she was about four months. Um, when she started rolling over, we were like, okay, no more swaddle. So we actually cut that out cold turkey um, and we switched her over to a sleep sack. So she's actually still in the sleep sack today um, at a year. So the swaddle was great. And, um, we used a muslin one first, um, or like the one that they gave us at the hospital. And then we actually topped it with a copper pearl because the copper pearl has a little more of like an elasticity to it. So it's stretched nice over and like, kind of like wrapped her even cozier. So that worked out for us. So if I could find a clip of us actually swaddling her, I'll insert that. Um, and so that was number two. Uh, that was an easy one. And third thing is another quick one. The third thing is actually white noise. We had her using white noise to sleep for daytime and nighttime. Um, during the day, we would actually just use an old cell phone. In the pack and play, there was actually a changing table, so we would just throw it right there so it was kind of above her so she can hear that. So that way it drowned out like a lot of the noise, the background noise, and it became almost like a consistent noise for her, right? That's what white noise is for. Um, so we used that, and what worked out well is when we were driving or we were out and about at the mall or wherever we were family's house we would just bring that little cell phone with us and it worked like a charm to get her to take a nap um just on the road it's something a little nice you know nice to go thing that can remind her you know it's time to sleep so even if she was having any type of like breakdown or she just needed a minute to like cry the white noise at that time when she was a baby would definitely help um now we definitely use it to sleep but we don't actually use it as a calming mechanism anymore um she'll probably chuck it at us at this point but yeah the white noise was such a help um as far as white noise i know during the day i mentioned we used our old cell phone just downloaded the app um but in her in her room and in our room we just used the sono speaker and we would play it through that so that was always um, really helpful and something I would definitely do again. Um, the fourth thing is actually knowing it's okay for her to cry. Um, I know as a parent, you hear your kid cry, you're automatically running to go see them. Um, but crying is natural. It's normal and you know 
or you learn to know the different cries your baby has. So we would, at first, we'd be looking at the monitor, and I mean, even now, right? You look at the monitor, but you can tell the difference between the cry trying to put herself down or the cry like something is wrong. Um, so five minutes, maybe even 10 minutes of crying is okay. Um, even now that she's a little older and she gets so distracted, um, before she went to sleep today, actually, just before I put her down, she was up just rolling around, hanging out in her room. Um, she wasn't crying or anything, but part my husband was like, babe, let's just go get her. She doesn't want to sleep because um, she was in there for like 20 minutes or so. Um, and I'm like, just leave her. I know the time, you know, that she needs to go down. And, and if she were upset, she'll let you know. So it's okay for her to cry. You know, a little self-soothing is going to do wonders. Um, we never did that sleep while the baby sleeps thing. So for us, being able to like put her down and get things done was so important. So um, as long as you have the monitor and you're watching what's going on, um, she's gonna be okay. You know, if, or he, <laughs> if, you're, if they're crying, they're going to be okay. Um, you know, after, 10 minutes of crying, okay, it might be time to grab them. But usually within that time, if it's on a schedule, they will fall asleep. So um, for us, you know, we give her a little time and like today we gave her 20 minutes just to hang out with her thoughts. So it worked out um, definitely for us. So those are the things that we did to get Jade sleep trained. Um, again, we didn't know it at the time and Jade's our first kid, right? So we're going to try it again and see if it works. But for us, these are the four things that definitely helped. Um, getting a structure, getting on, you know, kind of like a timeline of how your day is going to go. That's so important. I think even as your kid gets older, because if you give them a set schedule or you give them kind of a flow of the day, I feel like they're able to maneuver a little bit better, um, especially when they're still figuring out, you know, themselves. I think having a schedule is super important. Um, the second thing, swaddling um, definitely will help <laughs> before, um, you know, they get to rolling age, but definitely something that I recommend. Um, the third thing, of course, is the white noise. Uh, white noise worked for us and works for so many people and will just help, I think, um, settle your baby down, whether it's nap time or not, if I'm being honest. And the fourth, it's okay for them to cry. Um, like I said, crying is normal. And as baby is around longer and longer, you're gonna know those cries. So five or 10 minutes, definitely nothing to worry about too much. Um, if you just stick to something, it doesn't have to be these, but whatever you do, I think just stick to it and it will work or find something that will work for you and your family. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you want to see other videos like this, please stick around and subscribe. Um, and no, you know, I'm a mom, so you'll be seeing more mommy things, some makeup things, some life things, some wife things. So uh, definitely stick around if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.